Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to the Daily Nerd Live Friday edition. How y'all doing? It's the start of the weekend. Yes! And oh my goodness, did we start the stream and the weekend off right? Oscar, but, but it's Budzinski. I see you! Welcome to the leadership! Thank you, thank you so, so much for spanking that join button. Really, 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 really appreciate your face. And guys, yes, as General Scott is reminding you all in the chat right now, remember to, yes, smash the like button. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to join our Alter Nerd tribe. Guys, overnight, we went over 87 thousand alter nerds uh in our tribe that's absolutely amazing guys we are less than 300 alter nerds away from 88 thousand alter nerds in the community this is absolutely insane so guys if you haven't done so already absolutely smash the hell out of the subscribe button because guys we are one step closer to achieving a hundred thousand alter nerds in the community that means two things a, we get that silver play button right there, and hopefully B, that then causes a Christopher Boozy meltdown on Twitter, because, guys, I want to see that. Don't you want to see that? Smash that subscribe button. You know the drill at this point. Oh, my goodness. But, guys, yes, thank you so, so much uh, to really all of you. The past 24 hours, the last two Daily Nerds that I released has been absolutely insane guys oh my goodness wow all i'm gonna say is wow thank you so so much uh for all your support for yesterday's two daily nerd videos absolutely just blew my mind uh how they just completely just went kablooey so thank you so much for all your support uh just as a little bit of an update Straight after this stream, in an hour's time, there's going to be a premiere. Yes, you are getting a bonus Daily Nerd today. It's happening. So, guys, stay until the very end of the stream because uh, you'll be redirected to the premiere of the Daily Nerd bonus. And what is that? Well, today's Daily Nerd bonus is this. Yes, Meg Z is in danger of losing her title. She issues a statement after the Sussex website backlash. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned for an hour's time. That video is going to premiere. Oh, it's a spicy one, guys. Everyone that's watching on the replay, though, you know the drill by now. Fast forward like 10, 15 minutes, and I'll have started the main topic at that point. But that's pretty much all the housekeeping done and dusted for this particular stream. And my goodness, the support keeps coming in. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Uh, we've got Lisa Boo in the house. Thank you so, so much for the $2 sugar bucks. Yay! And my favourite, the Ginger Doggy Fighting Arts moment. For those that don't know, I always like to explain this. This is a Ginger Doggy. That's hearts coming out from the tail. When you lift the tail on in a doggy, What's directly underneath? The dog's butthole. Therefore, this is a ginger doggy fighting hearts moment. You will never be able to unsee it again. You're welcome! So who else is going to find my favourite Super Chat sticker, which is the ginger doggy fighting hearts moment? Because I'm sorry. You look at it and you just want to like... <laughs> it's so much fun and it's so, so freaking cute. So that's that. Uh, <laughs> and guys, let me know in the chat, how did you spend your Valentine's Day? It happened two days ago. How did you spend your Valentine's Day? Let me know. Um, and oh my goodness, Kristen Scango, new subscriber, Steph You Rock. Well, thank you so, so much uh, for finding this community, finding my channel and being an absolute badass and hitting that subscribe button. Welcome to the tribe. You are now officially an alter nerd. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so so much um what else are you guys saying let's have a look before we start today's main topic oh my goodness guys general scott's just come in and been like do you know what i'm gonna kick things off with five leaderships gifted to some of you lucky lot out there so everyone say hey up to our newest leaders courtesy of general scott general we salute you mate thank you so so much and oh my goodness vicky a saw that and she was like do you know what i see you five and I freaking match it. 
Yes! Oh my goodness, Vicky, hey, thank you so much for gifting five leaderships to some lucky alter nerds out there. So everyone say, hey, up to our newest leaders, courtesy of General Scott and Vicky A. And that really only means one thing. My goodness, already we can now declare that this stream has become a gifting war. So again, thank you so, so much to General Scott and Vicky A. General Scott for kicking things off. Vicky A for officially now kicking off today's gifting wall. Guys, we're already on 10 new leaders for today's stream. Can we make it to 15 new leaders? We're only just five more away. So who else is going to either smash that join button or, you know, jump into today's gifting walls? Take that shield, take that sword and be like, I know how to do a gifting war. This is how you do a gifting war. Guys, we may soon find out. We may soon find out. Uh, but oh my goodness, the support keeps coming in. Guys, thank you so, so much. Nick Wilson, thank you for the two pound sugar box. Yes. And the ginger doggy fighting dance moment again. <laughs> yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, and oh, Jean Ray. Oh, Jean Rick is like, do you know what? I can find your favorite super chat sticker as well. Here's another ginger doggy fighting ass moment. Yes. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, appreciate all your support coming through. Thank you so, so much. And Jean Rick, thank you so, so much. Uh, oh my goodness, you are an OG, my friend, uh, for supporting the leadership. Saying 29 months to celebrate. Love to Queen Steph, the best. You're the best as well. Um, the member only stream for February will be next week so stay tuned for that um i'm sorry the last couple of months i haven't been a member only stream i'm acutely aware uh that that has not happened um not to go into too much detail but there have been some things in my personal life that i've had to deal with um one of the major things really that really kind of set me back was my operation at the end of November. That really conked me out in December. I couldn't really sit down for long periods, so streaming, I had to be very, very careful with that, as you can appreciate. January, all I'm going to say is a lot's been going on in my personal life. It's all good in the end, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, I've had to take care of some things in my personal real life situation. So I'm sorry that there wasn't a leader only stream for January, but they will be resuming. Uh, the next one will be next week. So if you do not want to miss out on the return of the leader only stream, when we get a little bit more personal, have a little bit more fun, uh, then make sure you spank that join button today for as little as 4 99 You become a leader and you get an exclusive leader only stream from me. Don't want to miss out on the leader on the stream for February next week? You know what to do, guys. You know what to do. For Jean Rick, 29 months, you are a proper OG. Um, if I remember rightly, you were actually the first uh, person to join as a leader. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate your face. Gail, Andres, oh my goodness, thank you so much for the ginger doggy fighting ass moment. Yes! Ah! Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And the $1.99 sugar box. Yes! Love it, love it, love it. Uh, Lisa Boo says, spent Valentine's Day reading. Hmm. Uh, Project Metal Music, spent Valentine's alone. Aww. Um, what else you guys saying? Uh, oh, Caitlin Ardette. Oh my goodness, Caitlin Ardette. Hello, how you doing? Coming in with the $5 sugar box. Yes, we call them sugar books because we like to monetize the morons here, which is the sugars. And they hate it when we do that, so sugar box <laughs> screw the sugars right guys uh keep up your hard work you and andy are bringing it we need to get you to 100k let's go guys yes let's go this is the year 2024 is the year that the alter nerds we achieve a hundred thousand alter nerds in this community and we get that silver play button right there and hopefully that causes a christopher boozy meltdown on twitter that I can then monetize off of because, you know, he's a moron and we monetize the morons, right guys? Right. <laughs> yes, do you know what? I think I need to do a merch on that one. Monetize the morons. Huh, 
interesting thought I've just had in my head that I don't even know why I didn't think of that before. But we're here now. So, huh, okay, yeah. Stay tuned for that. Uh, based on, actually, that comes to mind, uh, last week's stream, uh, we were discussing ideas for like, um, like a screen that I can put up as like a pause screen for when I need to dash to the restroom and all that lot, guys. I've contacted my animator. He might be able to do something. He's on holiday at the moment, but we're going to see what we can do. We're going to see what we can cook up with. I gave all the ideas that we were able to come up with uh, in the last stream. So ooh, stay tuned, guys. Hopefully it's going to look freaking epic. I don't say hopefully. It will look epic because my animator guy is freaking awesome. I mean, all this, all this, the pre-intro, intro, outro is all from the same dude. And he's freaking top notch. So there we go. Costs a pretty penny, but guys, you pay for what you get. What can I say? Uh, Gene Rick, oh my goodness, Gene Rick with the support as always, gifted a leadership to one of you lucky lot out there. So everyone say A hey, up to our newest leader, courtesy of Gene Rick. Guys, that takes us to 11 new leaders for today's stream. Guys, we're only just four more away from 15 new leaders for today's stream. So who else is going to jump into today's gifting war just like our Gene Rick here? Or... Smash the join button. Guys, we may soon find out. We may soon find out. But wow, is today's gifting walls heating up. Definitely heating up. Uh, Tyrana Villanueva, thank you so much for your continued support for the leadership. Saying, I finally got your live. I love your stream. So, yes. Yeah, so, on a Friday, the live stream start a little bit earlier at 7 o'clock UK time, which is around about 2 o'clock Eastern. Reason being is because then once I've finished with the live stream, I have my weekend and then I stream again on Sunday, 10 o'clock UK time, which is five o'clock Eastern. So that that's the new schedule as it is at the moment. So I'm glad, uh, Tyrana, you are here. And wow. Oh, my goodness. Jim Baker coming in with a nearly $50 sugar bar. Oh my goodness, the sugar's heads are exploding right now. I am freaking sure of it because of this badass, Mr. Jim Baker. <laughs> nice lip lid, Jim. This is how you blow the minds off of the sugar morons. Booyah. Oh my goodness, Jim. Thank you so, so much for that extremely generous super chat saying super effective. Booyah. Oh, yes. And with the gamer control as well. Very nice. I am a little bit of a gamer. So you must have known. You must have known. You must have known, Jim. Uh, nicely played, my friend. And I do mean that as a pun. Oh, my goodness. Everyone, hearts in the chat for Jim right now because that is epically, like, totally generous of him. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much, Jim. My goodness. Amazing dude. Amazing support. Uh, Kim Cousins, I see you. A new subscriber from Manitoba, Canada. Love your energy and your channel. Well, thank you and welcome, Kim, to the Altener tribe. Thank you so, so much for hitting that subscribe button. I really appreciate your face. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Tywana Villanueva is like, I got you, Steph. Firstly, with a $2 sugar box. And secondly, yeah, you get my favorite. The Ginger Doggy Fighting Arts moment. Yes. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, Michelle Hardman. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, thank you so, so much for that wonderful sugar book there. Um, No message, but here's some sugar books. I'm like, Michelle, thank you so, so much. That's very, very, very kind of you. Oh, Jim. Jim, I see you. Steph, my wife and I just love you. A up from Alabama. Oh, I appreciate you guys too. Oh, thank you. A up from Yorkshire. Jim Baker and Jim's wife. How's it going, guys? Oh, my goodness. It is so, so cool right now, right, that I'm able to, like, speak to you guys. Like, I'm in Yorkshire. You guys are all over the world, and we get to speak like this right now. Freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. There we are. Uh, what else are you uh, saying? Let's have a look. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Mum of two says, I wish I had your energy. <laughs> yeah. No alcohol required, guys. Quite literally. <laughs> I'm not allowed to drink alcohol. I have a dodgy pancreas. It's a thing. Whatevs, right? 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, oh, Bonsai says, evening, Steph. Watching while we're eating fajitas. Nice! Oh my goodness. You're watching me whilst you're having your dinner or your tea. That is just freaking awesome. Oh, you could watch anything whilst you're eating and you're choosing to watch me and my gobby face. Thanks. That, that, that's a compliment. Uh, I, I can take that. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, let's see what else you guys are saying. Uh, before we start today's main topic. Oh my goodness, you guys with the support, thank you. Stephen Magnus, I see your mate saying, Steph, when you're changing your name to Steph Sussex. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? Just as a freaking piss take, I might do. <laughs> I might do. I'm not Steph the alternate anymore, I'm Steph Sussex. And you can address me as mom. Fucking what the hell, right? What the um oh one show thank you so much for your continued support my friend appreciate you saying steph you've been skyrocketing for a long time and i'm so proud of you keep up the great work and thank you for keeping it 100 much love to you sis oh right back at you one show and guys if you haven't done so already support my friend over on the raven's flock for all your wrestling goodness and news my goodness it's popping off at the moment with the whole vince mcmahon situation but also as well i've seen the rock and what's going on there and some of the hate that he's getting. So, yeah, I'm sure they're all over it. Like, Donkey Kong, they're proper on. You know, you know him. You know it makes sense. Um, Oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, Denise, thank you so much for your continued support for the leadership saying spank the like. We appreciate those spanks. And, yes, we do. I can see here there's 310 of you watching at the moment. We're going to be starting the main topic in a minute. Uh, and we've got 211 likes. Guys, if we reach... 500 likes, we achieve a monkey. And something special happens on this uh, on these streams. So if you want to find out what that special something is, or if you already know it and you want to see it again, guys, spank that like button. Let's get to 500. Let's achieve a monkey. And get those dancing monkey shoes on. For those that know, you know. For those that don't, You'll find out. Uh, but Denise, thank you, thank you so, so much. And one show, thank you so much for the $5 sugar box. Uh, saying, don't worry, I can't get drunk thanks to my meds, so I'll drink for the both of us, Steph, LOL. Cheers, mate, for your service. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. And Peppermint Patty, oh my goodness, Peppermint Patty, thank you so much for the $5 sugar box. Oh my goodness, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, uh, What's this? Uh, oh, my goodness. This is your third super chat on a live stream. That's very, very kind of you. For your third ever super chat, and it's with me. Peppermint Party, thank you so much. That's very, very kind of you. My goodness. Uh, Project Metal Music, one of the head mods here. Hey, up, mate, saying love your stuff in the community. Dude, I appreciate you too. Thank you, thank you so, so much for everything that you do. Uh, with that being said, guys, shall we kick off? Today's main topic. Let's go. And a three and a two and a one. Here we go. So, yes, in another daily, the Sussexes have done something stupid yet again segment. Yeah, they're making it all about them, aren't they? And, uh, yeah, opinion conspiracy theory, whatever, they are grifting off of King Charles's cancer diagnosis. Absolutely disgusting. I'm going to give you the information. You guys can make your mind up as to whether you agree with that opinion conspiracy theory, whatever or not. But, oh, yeah, this is getting disgusting. So, we all know uh, at this point that they are in uh, Canada uh, to mark uh, one year before the Invictus Winter Games start uh, in Whistler, Vancouver. And, again... I've reported it on my channel so many times in the past that they're making it all about them when it comes to the Invictus games rather than shining the spotlight firmly on the veterans. And a lot of people in the background in the Invictus uh, organization reportedly are not happy about that situation. But here we go. It's the Sussex show. Megzi waves for the cameras and snaps Hazza on the skeleton bobsled as he films with GMA host Will Weave after Pear hit back at make or break claims by telling critics we will not be broken. Well done. Well, we will not be manipulated, Hazza and Megzi. How about that? 
Um, now, Megzi was seen beaming, taking pictures as she watched Hazza hurtle down the bobsled track. Uh, she was in a black puffer coat, black jeans, ski boots, oversized sunglasses. Possibly paid for by the Invictus Games. Yeah. Uh, the couple have come under fire recently because of the Sussex.com website. Critics claim it's a breach of their promise to the late qu Queen uh, to not monetize off of their titles. And this is the thing, right? All this news that you're hearing about right now from Hazard and Megzi, you know, the, the uh, Invictus Games, you know, her Lemonada deal, all this lot, to me, is highly suspicious. The timing is sus. Why? Because, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, they're trying to flood the news feed right now of all this positive Sussex news to try and drown out all the criticism and, indeed, the correct constructive criticism, the valid criticism that they've been getting in regards to the Sussex.com website. Uh, so much so that wait until the end of this stream because you will be directed over to my premiere where, yeah, Megs is in danger of losing a title and she has issued a statement uh, after the Sussex website backlash. So if you want to know more about that, wait until the end of this stream. You will be redirected to this premiere. Uh, in the meantime, though... Yeah, they did this GMA interview, and what we've got at the moment is Hazard's interview with GMA, saying he's grateful he could spend any time with King Charles after his cancer diagnosis, as he hints that the King's illness will have a reunifying effect for the royals, and discusses becoming a US citizen. Now, if you don't think that Megzi has a hand in that, guys, you're freaking insane. Opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. I am absolutely of the opinion, and I believe that uh, in terms of them finding out that GMA was going to interview them, this, that, and the other, that they sat down and they thought, okay, what are the key talking points that we want to get across? Oh, ding, 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 ding. King Charles and his cancer diagnosis, you know? Let's put out into the world that, you know, we care about the royal family. You're buying this book, BS? Because I ain't. I freaking ain't. Um, so, yeah, uh, Hazard said that he was grateful to have visited his father, King Charles, and hopes the, di uh, the diagnosis can heal his rift with the royal, saying, I love my family. Yeah, okay, so when you have an outright war with your family, it takes cancer to heal that war? Are you freaking kidding me? This dude is insane. Um, he spoke about King's health publicly for the first time. Um, and he mentioned all about his visit to London without Megzi and the kids. Um, asked by uh, GMA presenter Will Reeve how the short trip back home was for him. Emotionally, Hazard replied, mm, look, I love my family. The fact that I was able to get on a plane and go and see him and spend any time with him, I'm grateful for that. Um, now, um, he, uh, Will Reeve is the son of Superman actor and legend Christopher Reeve. And he said, I've also found in my own life that sort of an illness in the family can have a galvanizing or a sort of unifying effect for a family. Is that possible in this case? And Hazard replied, absolutely, yeah, I'm sure. Throughout all these families I see on a day-to-day -day basis again, the strength of the family unit coming together. I think any illness, any sickness brings families together. So, you know, all the shares that Hazard and Megzi have been flinging towards the royal family throughout all these years. Hazard essentially is turning around, opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, and saying, do you know what? Cancer is going to fix things. Is he fucking insane? Oh, my shiz in hell. What? What is he saying? What is he saying? That is fucking nuts, right? Nuts, 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 with a capital freaking N. But this is the thing, right? He didn't have to mention King Charles at all, okay? Now, we're going to listen in on this interview. Now, bear in mind, for fair use purposes, I have to stop and start it. So please bear that in mind. If you want to see the full lot uh, of what I'm playing, uh, go on to Twitter at Chris Ship ITV. He's sharing it all over the place. Uh, but yeah, um, let's play this. Uh, I'm just going to turn all this up. And yeah, let's hear it in full. What this absolute freaking moron is saying. It, it's insane. It really, really is. Uh, let's go. Let's do this. 
I'm sort of playing and, and, and went to go and see him as soon as I could. How was that visit for you emotionally? Um, look, I, 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 love, I love my family. The fact, that I was, the fact that I was able to get on a plane and go and see him and spend any time with him, I'm grateful for that. What's sort of your outlook on, on his health? That stays between me and him. An illness in the family. So he'll he'll comment on you know I'm I'm grateful to have spent time with him speaking about himself right, uh, but then when it comes to speaking about King Charles in terms of his outlook, oh no, that's between me and him. Everything is supposed to be between him and him. Everything is supposed to be between Prince Hazard and King Charles. But okay, it's all right for Hazard to turn round and talk about some private moments between himself and the now King Charles in his freaking book Spare. Oh, it's okay to divulge that because that ain't between him and King Charles. But this is? He is a walking freaking contradiction. I don't... What the hell? What the freaking hell? Family can have a galvanizing or sort of reunifying effect for a family. Absolutely. Is that possible in this case? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, you know, I've, uh, throughout all these families, I see it on a, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you know, the, again, the, the strength of the, of the family unit coming together. Just physically be... Again, it's a unifying effect, guys. After everything we've done to us with our family, cancer's going to heal things. The frick? What the hell? This is insane. Why is he thinking like this? Why does he have this freaking logic? Because I tell you something, I think Prince William has something to say about that. Freaking, you think, it'd be like, you think our dad's cancer is going to freaking heal everything that you've done over the last two, couple of years? No, do you know what? If King Charles doesn't do it, I am sure as freaking eggs that Prince William is going to do it. Their titles are going to go freaking bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. I'm certain of it. Totally am. Being in California, how have you processed the fact that there's so much happening back uh, with your family where you come from? I have my own family, right? So, as we all do, yeah. right? So, um, you know, my family and my life in California is, is, is as it is. Okay, so he's asked about how he processes everything that's happening with his family over in the UK, and he turns it around to talking about his own freaking family in California. You don't give a shit about the UK royal family, he doesn't. Because he turns it around to talk about his own family. He could have answered that in a very general term of, you know, yeah, we deal with it. We're in contact still, this, that, and the other. And that's it. That's it. But no. That is how much he freaking cares about the royal family as far as I'm concerned. His own flesh and blood. You know, I will, I've got you know, other trips planned um, that would take me through the UK or back to the UK. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll stop in and, and see my family as much as I can. He's got other trips planned and he'll stop in and see his family as much as he can. Yeah, okay. Take a freaking private jet all the way from freaking California to UK to only see your dad for 30, 45 minutes and then piss off back. Yeah, freaking eco warrior traveler extraordinaire, our Prince Azar is. Travelist, anyone? Walking freaking contradiction. This is a freaking catalyst for Steph Ran all over. If I didn't even think I was actually going to run on this, but you, you're getting an impromptu, unexpected Steph Ran all over your eye, eyeballs and ear holes right now. Hoping you're enjoying, because, you know, I am actually enjoying my little mini Steph run. This is insane. This is insane. That's my next question about your family. How's Harry the dad? How's what? How How's the Harry dad? the dad? I can't tell you. That's classified. Okay. Oh, okay. So he's asked about Prince Charles. Right, well, sorry, King Charles. And he discloses some information about that. But then when he's asked about the kids, oh, that's classified, guys. Shh. That's classified. I can't talk about the kids. That's classified. Well, guess freaking what? The whole freaking royal family, in terms of what he said, should have been all classified. What about the shiz that he said in spare? Calling his, uh, calling Queen Camilla, the wicked stepmom. Talking about the moment the, the then Prince Charles broke the news to him. That Princess Diana had passed away. How about all the shiz that he was talking about when it comes to his brother, Prince William, and the supposed fight at Frogmore Cottage? Amongst other things. 
all his dealings, all the conversations, everything that he's discussed about the royal family, that should have freaking stayed classified. But oh, no, 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 that's okay. But you ask about the kids, oh, no, no, that's going to be classified. Are you shizzing me? What? What? When it comes to his own family, it's classified. When it comes to the royal family, not so much. Uh, please, I, I'm, 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 that makes zero sense whatsoever in terms of continuity, right? That is a contradiction. He's a hypocrite, a hypocrite. Uh, before we continue any further, Angela Dawn, thank you so, so much for the $5 sugar box, uh, saying we shouldn't be shocked by how's Megzi using veterans and a cancer diagnosis for good PR. Look at how they've responded to the African Park scandal. Yeah, or the lack of response, in all honesty. Uh, but yeah, Angela, thank you so, so much for that. Um, so yeah, that's as far as I'm going to go in terms of the freaking GMA interview. Um, but this is extremely interesting, all right? So Hazard's turned around and he said uh, that he doesn't consider the US... Uh, sorry. He says that he's considered U.S. citizenship, but it's not a priority. Now, <laughs> this is him squaring the circle right here, right now. Let me explain why. If he went for full garden variety U.S. citizenship, he would have to relinquish his royal titles. But it's not just him that would have to relinquish his royal titles. By extension... Megzi would have to as well. Okay. Well, that's not going to be happening anytime soon, is it really? At the end of the day. So what's going to happen? How is he going to get his citizenship for the US? Well, opinion conspiracy theory, whatever. This is an educated guess. If I am wrong, please let me know in the live chat or let me know in the comments below if you're watching on the replay. Hazard at the moment is embroiled in quite a few court cases, one of which is against the UK government. The UK government, in a nutshell, took away taxpayer-funded police protection away from Hazard and Megzi because they're not full-time working roles anymore. And we, the taxpayers, don't want to be freaking paying for their security. They could pay for their own damn security. So Hazard and Megzi, right? However... Hazard is like, no, I want to fight this. So he's going to court and he's trying to fight it. If he gets taxpayer-funded security, then he could potentially register himself as um, an international protected person, an IPP. By doing that, he can then get taxpayer-funded security anywhere in the world. So let's say he's in America. You Americans, some of your taxes goes to his uh, and Megs's security. See where I'm coming so far? Now, if that happens, okay, and this is where my educated guest comes in, and he is registered as an IPP, then the way that I see it, the way that I think, is that he could then get like a diplomatic visa or an important person kind of visa Whereby at that point, he doesn't have to relinquish his title because he's not a full garden variety US citizen. He is a special person citizen, a diplomatic citizen. Right? You see where I'm coming from? So then at that point, if that happens, he doesn't have to relinquish his titles. And more importantly... Megzi doesn't have to relinquish her title, right? So we're turning around and saying, oh, yeah, I've considered US citizenship, but it's not a priority. Oh, he is lying his backside off as far as I'm concerned. It is totally a priority, but they're trying to figure out a way to skirt around the issue of him having to relinquish the royal title. And I think that's the way that they're trying to do it. Now, if it wasn't such a priority, then why is there such a fight back towards the Heritage Foundation that is right now suing the US government to try and see Prince Hazard's visa papers to see whether he lied or not on the question of illicit substances? Because if he lied, then it's a case of, well, why is he still in the country kick him out? 
And if he didn't lie, then the question is, well, why did you still let him in anyway? Because you didn't let Kate Moss in back in the day or Amy Winehouse back in the day or many other famous people that took illicit substances. Took Kate Moss years to be able to then step foot in America again after what happened in the noughties when she was with Pete Doherty. Uh, you see, guys, this is this this is insidious. This is insane for him to turn around and say U.S. citizenship is not a priority. Oh hell yeah, it is. Best believe it is. It is. Um, but they are trying to really snake around it. Opinion conspiracy theory, whatever. But to go full circle. Yeah, we all know they're in Canada at the moment for the launch of the 365-day, one year until the official start uh, of the Invictus Winter Games. And, um, yeah, Azza and Megzi have made it all about them. And I believe, opinion because Boozy Theory, whatever, Azza and Megzi are monetizing, are grifting off of King Charles's cancer diagnosis by literally talking about it in the GMA interview. Because after all these years, they now want to make out that they care about the royal family. And that, you know, they love the royal family and, you know, it's all good now. And he's going to come over when he can and all this lot. Get freaking Ben. With that being said, everyone that's watching on the live stream, stay exactly where you are. But everyone else on the replay and on the live stream, really, to be fair, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to join our Alternate Tribe. I'll be honest with you. Help us get to 100k so we can get that silver play button right there and hopefully cause a Christopher Boozy meltdown on Twitter. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also, as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about what I've just discussed, and I bet you do, then those on the replay, send me a super but thanks it's just below this video right here we can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me and hey up live chat how's it going so we've got about 15 minutes left uh until guys we get on to the premiere that'll be starting in just over 15 minutes time megzy's in danger of losing a title she issues a statement after the sussex website backlash so if you don't want to miss that out and you want to be one of the first to watch this bonus daily nerd for today then Stay tuned, stay on this live stream because you will automatically be redirected to this once I've finished today's Daily Nerd Live Friday edition stream. Uh, oh, yeah, it's juicy. It's a juicy, juicy one. It's a little bit of a juicy one. Uh, so, yeah. That's that. Uh, what are you guys saying? So Brenda Carter says, don't underestimate most Americans. We're onto them. Oh, yeah. We know that you're onto them now. It took it took a hot minute for you guys to catch up to us in the UK. <laughs> but you got there in the end. So welcome. Welcome to reality, guys. <laughs> you're free from the Matrix. <laughs> there you go. Um... Paula Lawrence, I love this. Is Africa Parks classified too? Now, that's a freaking good question, right? Oh, my goodness. That's a freaking good question. Uh, for those um, that are still watching, uh, I want you to vote with the like button right now. We're at 365 likes at the moment. If you think that Hazard and Megzi are now monetizing King Charles's cancer diagnosis, Smash that like button right now if you haven't done so already. Use the like button as a vote. It gives me a little bit of an indication, really, a quick indication of whether you guys think the same way or not um, with me. Um, so, yeah, if you think the same way as me, uh, hit that like button. I, I want to see very quickly if you guys agree or not. Uh, so let's see with that. Um, what else are you guys saying? Um <laughs> Uh, Little Whiskers says, if the kids are classified, why do they keep trying to prove they exist? Oh, okay. As I have always said on this channel, I'm not going to get into the weeds of whether the kids exist or not. Nope. What I will say is this. I have done one video um, on the whole pregnancy, Megzi debacle thing. And let's put it this way. It looks suspicious. It does. I'm, I'm like, yeah, some of that's wrong with this picture when it comes to Megzi and her pregnancies. 
Megan's Mall might be up to, on to something, I'm telling you. And if you're not subscribed to my good friend Megan's Mall on YouTube, please do so. Uh, she's absolutely freaking amazing and so freaking kind. I absolutely adore and love her. So, yeah. And she is literally at the forefront, the expert of the whole Megzy pregnancy situation. So, yeah, if you want to know more information about that uh, from the person that knows pretty much everything about it, Megan's Mall is your go-to uh, for that topic. Um, Brandy Carr says, could he pass the citizenship test? <sighs> he couldn't even pass his way out of a freaking paper bag. So I would say probably not. Probably not. Um, Dawn Gofstein says, why didn't the interviewer ask about African parks? This is the thing, right, with interviews. Um, and I'm learning about this more and more. Um, when, when, when you set up an interview, um, a lot of the times, the person that you're interviewing will be like, right, okay, we'll talk about this, but you can't talk about this. We'll talk about this, but we can't talk about this. So I think with the GMA interview, I would say that there was like stipulations on this whereby they would, the, the Hazard Megzi turned around and says, right, you're only here to discuss these topics. Do not ask about African parks. I'm, I am sure as hell hell that there would have been uh, restrictions on what could be discussed and what could not be discussed. I mean, we're talking about Hazem and Megzi here. They want to control the media. <laughs> Opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, right? Hello. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, uh, Dina Williams says, P. Diner is calling H. Uh, get all royals. P. Diner, I adore P. Diner. Oh my goodness, she's so freaking sassy. I love her. I love her. Um, exactly, Stephen Magnus. All the GMA questions were pre-approved and vetted. I suspect either that or the topics to be discussed were pre-approved and vetted. Again, they want to control the media. Opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. Right. Uh, Maria twenty four T says there's always an agenda with those two. Exactly. Uh, and for those that are not familiar with um the live portion of the show um if you definitely want to guarantee that your comment gets read out then a uh, super chat uh for those that aren't sending a super chat i'll just pick and choose what comes out what stands out to me but your comments aren't guaranteed to be read so do bear that in mind um uh, let's see what else you guys are saying um <laughs> karen smetanovska says trump won't pay lol yeah I suspect he wouldn't either if he became president again. Um, Maria 2014. Oh, Maria 2014. Yes. My favorite. Ginger Doggy Finance moment. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much for the $2 sugar box. Yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Um, what else are you guys saying? Let's have a look. Um, oh, General Scott. General in the house. I salute you, General. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the $2 sugar box. Ah! And again, it's my favorite. The Ginger Doggy Fine Hearts moment. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. Who else is going to find my favorite Super Chat sticker? The Ginger Doggy Fine Hearts moment. Because it all makes people go like this. I'm like, oh, it's so cute. And it's so much fun. And when you see it, you can't help but just smile and go like, yay. <laughs> You just can't, okay? Um, oh, Bonsai, thank you so much for the £4.99 sugar box. Yes! Uh, saying he's not helping the rumours that are going around saying that the kids aren't real. He's just adding fuel to that particular fire. Yeah, I would say so, yeah. He is, he is. Uh, the secrecy around the children isn't helping things, uh, isn't helping the rumours. Um, do I believe they're real? Yes. I have no cause to think that they're not at this stage, so I do believe they're real. Do I believe the pregnancies were real? Um, but the children? Yes. Um, but their complete secrecy around them? I understand them being protective over them. Totally. Get it, right? But when they're willing to talk about everything else so openly and candidly, but not the children, 
it's 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 not good it's not good um let's see uh what else you guys are saying um hey peppermint batty has spanked the like uh because project mail music is like who hasn't spanked the like peppermint patty is like i spanked Booyah! Yes, uh, I can see here. Oh my goodness! Over fifty of you have voted with the like button at the moment. Uh, it seems like you may be agreeing with my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever uh, that Hazra and Megzi are grifting off of King Charles's cancer diagnosis in the GMA interview. Uh, if you believe or you agree with my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, and you haven't done so already, uh, spank that like button. Use that as the voting pool. Uh, it's a very, very quick, easy way for me to find out whether you do agree with me or not with this sentiment. Uh, so if you do agree with that opinion and you haven't done so already, like, spank the like button. Uh, let's see how many more of you actually agree with me on that one. Uh, let's see what else you guys are saying. Um, uh, <laughs> Sarah Abbott says, <laughs> situation. Exactly, right? 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 <laughs> Um, let's see what else you guys are saying. Um, right, uh, guys, if you just bear with me one second, stay exactly where you are. Um, I just need to quickly go to the restroom for two seconds and I'm going to come back. Um, I'm really, really sorry I have to do this again. Um, I'm just having issues at the moment. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Everything's Gucci. I'm healthy. Everything's fine. Uh, but yeah, just give me two seconds. I will be back in two seconds. Stay exactly where you are and we'll chat some more, right? Two seconds, okay? <laughs> I told you, two seconds. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, just just my pancreas situation at the moment. Apologies, guys, uh, but thank you so much for bearing with me. I'm actually um, just on a personal note, seeing the doctor tomorrow morning, um, just to check out. Um, it might just be blood sugar levels uh, that's just making that situation go a little bit haywire. Um, so if that's the case, we'll we'll, we'll get that sorted. Um, but yeah, uh, it's get, it's getting annoying now. <laughs> it's getting really annoying now. I need it fixed. I, I, I need to, I need to fix that situation. <laughs> I really, really do. Uh, what else are you guys saying? Uh, bear in mind. Um, in six minutes time, you guys, uh, this stream will be ending and you will be redirected to this premiere, a bonus daily nerd, Meghan Markle in danger of losing title. She issues a statement after the Sussex website backlash. Oh, it's a juicy one, guys. It's a juicy one. Uh, so, yes, in six minutes time, this stream will be ending. You'll be redirected to this premiere. Please support it. Give it all the love. Like, comment, share. You know the drill. But yeah, six minutes left on this stream. If you guys want to send a super chat, super chat sticker, or jump into today's gifting wars, now is your last chance to do so. We are at 11 new leaders for today's stream. You guys are fucking amazing. Guys, we're only four more away from 15 new leaders for today's stream. Guys, can we get there? We're now just six minutes away from this stream ending can we get four more new leaders who else is going to jump in today's gifting wars or oh, spank that join button the uh new uh, the leader only stream for february will be next week so if you don't want to miss out you guys know what to do so there you go on that um what else are you guys saying in the meantime let's have a gander let's have a gander a ganderoo 
Gandavoo. I quite like that. Ooh, I just made up a new word, a gandavoo. Like a kangaroo and a gandavoo. Ooh, I like that. Gandavoo. And it kind of rolls off the tongue as well. A gandavoo. A gandavoo. Gandavoo. Yeah. Sold. <laughs> Sold. Uh, Dawn. Oh my goodness, Dawn. Ah, Dawn. Thank you so much for the ginger doggy fine arts moment. Yes. And the two dollar sugar box. Ah, yes. Love it. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So so much, Dawn, for the ginger doggy fine arts moment and the two dollar sugar box. Yeah, freaking awesome, Dawn. Thank you. So, so much. Uh, Karen, I agree with this. Harry's interview was a flop. He stumbled through the whole interview. Oh, yeah. Like he stumbles through everything, guys. He really, really does. It is what it is. And oh, Sergeant Harrison in the house. Hey up, Sarge. How's it going? Everyone say hey up to our Sarge. Absolute legend in the community. Probably watching me on a big ass freaking 1,000 inch TV right now. Samsung TV, by the way. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Sergeant. I got myself a new uh, Bluetooth sound bar for my living room. It's awesome. It's awesome. And when I got it, I actually thought of you because it's pretty, it's pretty wide. It's pretty long. Um, it's longer than my old sound bar. My old sound bar was getting uh, old uh, and it was rumbling a lot. There was a lot of bass in it and it just wasn't, yeah, just it, it was rumbly. So this one is much better. Oh my God, much, much better. And so when I got it, I actually thought of you. <laughs> I thought of you. Uh, so there we go. Uh, <laughs> but hey up, Sergeant. How's it going, love? Um, what else you guys say? Let's have a gander at you all. Um, oh, Hayley, Hayley Lee roused out says, that's a nice photo of Johnny Depp. Oh, well, thank you. Um, it was It was a lovely gift um from a very 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 generous person um so yeah i'm extremely extremely lucky uh for it that is for that is for damn sure damn sure uh Subi sue oh my goodness Subi sue thank you so much for the ten dollar sugar box uh saying love you steph thanks for all you do oh well i appreciate you too Subi sue and thank you so so much for that very very generous uh ten dollar Sugar box. Uh, Heather Hill says, how is the video going for the toilet break? I mentioned it earlier on, but let me mention it again. I've already spoken to my animator, my go-to Martin. Uh, he's on holiday at the moment. We might be able to get it done. Uh, I gave him all the ideas that we discussed in the last stream. So yeah, we might be able to sort something out. It may take a little longer because he's on holiday at the moment. But yeah, um... It's in the works, guys. It's in the works. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. Sergeant George Harrison is like, I've entered the freaking building. Ten leaderships gifted to some of you lucky lot out there. So everyone say, hey, up to our newest leaders, courtesy of the epic, the legendary Sergeant Harrison. We salute you. Hats in the chat for our sergeant. Oh, my goodness. And everyone say, hey, up to our newest leaders. Not only courtesy of Sergeant Harrison, but Subi Sue is like, I can get in on this gifting war malarkey as well. Five leaderships gifted to some of you lucky lots out there. So, again, everyone say, hey, up to our newest leaders, courtesy of our epic sergeant and also Subi Sue. We salute you both. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Oh, my goodness. That is absolutely amazing. And wow, the support keeps coming. Janet Wood, thank you so, so much for spanking that join button all on your lonesome and being like, I can become my own leader. Booyah! Oh my goodness. Whoever was saying extra special A up to Janet because she spanked the, the join button all on a lonesome. So that is an epic move in of itself. We are at 27 new leaders for today's stream. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. For all your support, you are freaking amazing, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Wow. That's... <sighs> you guys, like, always surprise me with your support and your kindness and just how amazing, you know, this community is. So thank you, thank you so, so much. Oh, my goodness. Brenda be like, I can do that too, you know, Janet. She 
just spank the join button as well. Oh my goodness. Everyone say A up now to our newest, newest leader, Brenda. And that's extra special A up because she spanked the join button all on a lonesome. Oh my goodness. That is insane. Yep, you joined. I see you, lass. I see you. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is amazing. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, you guys, for all the support. Uh, Janet says, oh, one of our newest members saying, thank you, Steph. I watch you on other channels as well. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, Popcorn Planet and Popcorn Palace, of course, I would presume. Um, but yeah, uh, guys, with that being said, that is it for today's Daily Nerd Live Friday edition. Uh, because, yep, here we are, guys. <laughs> The premiere is about to start, so stay exactly where you are because you guys will be redirected uh, to this premiere that is starting in 1 minute 40 seconds. Megzi is in danger of losing a title. She's issued a statement after the Sussex website backlash. So if you want to know more, and of course you want to know more, stay exactly where you are because you will be redirected automatically to this video premiere um, as soon as this stream ends in a moment. Uh, but a couple more um, support that has come in. Oh, Sergeant, thank you so, so much for the Ginger Doggy Fighting Arts moment. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. And Sue Potter, thank you so much for that very, very generous $20 sugar box. Saying, hey, Steffi, been a while. Loving your enthusiasm as always. Well, thank you so, so much, Sue. Really appreciate all your faces. And guys, my goodness, 28 new leaders for today's stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for everyone that joined in today's Gifting Wars. Oh, you know, spank the join button you sends because you guys are freaking amazing. Thank you to everyone that spanked the like button. We got 468 likes being spanked uh, as of me reading it right now. Uh, thank you to everyone as well that subscribed to join our Alternerd tribe. Uh, we started off at 87,713 Alternerds uh, in the community. We are now at... 87,735 alternerds in the tribe. We are inching ever so closer to 88,000 alternerds in the tribe. You guys are freaking amazing. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Uh, Peppermint Patty, thank you so much for the $5 sugar box. But with that being said, it's happening, guys. So thank you so much for everyone that tuned in. And until the next time, laters.